everybody, it's Vanessa, the Crafty Gemini, and I wanted to make this kind of vlog style video to let you know what types of projects I've been working on, uh, kind of a little pattern review, and just to catch you up on what's been going on. So hopefully you enjoy this style of video. So first, I'll mention that if you're not already on Instagram, or if you are and you don't follow me, definitely check me out. You can find me using the handle uh, at Crafty Gemini, and I post a ton of pictures, video clips, and even in my Insta stories, which are little video clips that only last on my account for 24 hours, I post a ton of like behind the scenes stuff, farm life, uh, projects that I'm working on and things like that. So this is kind of a take on that type of a video. But I know a lot of you are not on other social media accounts. So here on YouTube, I wanted to put together this video for you and I'm gonna do kind of a little pattern review and talk a little bit about fabrics and garment sewing and a crochet project and my new 2018 bag club that's been going on so kind of an overview of what I've been up to so first up is my bag club if you didn't catch the last videos that I've been posting here on my YouTube channel I released my 2018 bag club and we're already almost halfway through the project so just some of the projects so you see what's been what we've been going on this is my everyday tote a super handy tote and it's stuff because I use it every day, it's my everyday purse. It has an inset zipper and a bunch of pockets all the way around. The project that just went up this week in the club is actually my techie tote. So this is a laptop case and I'm actually uh, getting a new laptop in the mail today so I'm super excited to upgrade my old MacBook here. This one's like four years old and it's already a little banged up and the memory is maxed. So <laughs> I'm looking forward to getting a new one. Hopefully the graphics card is better and stuff like that for me to edit my videos and things. Uh, so I'm looking forward to that. So I made myself another case and it has a little pocket here on the front that I use headphones, external hard drives and things like that. If you're interested in finding out more about my club, I'll definitely include a link in the description box below for you. So that's that. Uh, otherwise, I've been working on a lot of garment sewing projects lately, both for myself, for my kids. Uh, we just got done with Halloween here in the United States and I recently made my kids Halloween costumes. Usually in the past years, I've either been traveling for like quilt market or quilt festival or doing some type of work related stuff. So now that I'm not going to those market, those trade shows and stuff like that anymore, I'm super excited to be home, spending time with my kids and making their Halloween costumes. So this year my son was Black Panther and I made him the top and the pants and then we just accessorized it. He had the mask already, so that worked out super good. And it was just like this funky fabric that we found. It wasn't exactly panther fabric, but it kind of had like a leopard print, animal print type feel to it with like metallic. And it worked out great. He loved it and it's super comfy, so that was a hit. Then for my daughter, she wanted to be Velociraptor Blue. And if you haven't watched the new Jurassic World movie, you probably have no idea who that is. Well, it's a Velociraptor character, which is a dinosaur, from the movie. And so we hand dyed her fabrics. That's what she wanted to do because she wanted to make it kind of tie dye ish, but more like uh, blotchy to look kind of like dinosaur skin. And the dinosaur has some blue streaks, so I cut out some blue quilting cotton strips on the bias so that they would bend a little bit easier over her arms and shoulders and stuff. And I just glue basted them using Elmer's washable glue to the top. I don't want to sew them on because the top is still a cute shirt that she can wear even after Halloween with just some cute jeans and stuff. And so we use the washable glue so that now when we wash it, it'll come right off and we still preserve the entire top. I also made her some self-drafted leggings to go along with it. We made her a tail and she really loved her costume. So that worked out good. And so then, next let me talk to you a little bit about a skirt that I had made recently that got really great feedback on Instagram. I never did an actual full tutorial because the pattern is actually out of print. And it is by Liesl & Co. It's called the Everyday Skirt. It comes in women's sizes 0 to 16. I sized in at the size 16, which is the extra large, which is the largest size in the pattern packet. But I was able to size down on the second version, so I'll show you. The pattern calls, uh, the suggested fabrics that it has says light to medium weight fabrics like quilting cotton, chambray shirting, poplins, broadcloth, lawn, linen, all this kind of medium weight, right? So I used a chambray that I had. It's 100% cotton denim chambray. And so this is the skirt that I made, the first one that I made with it. And it goes good, but it just don't work for my body type because this, the pattern says that uh, this pattern is designed to sit an inch and a half below your natural waist. Now, I have more of an hourglass figure, but my hips to waist ratio is like super different, right? So I like to wear stuff at my, at my true and natural waist so that it kind of accentuates that silhouette, that more hourglass figure. And so this 
did not do it for me because the fabric is medium weight. So I wanted to show that for some of you that are out there maybe wanting to try your hands at some garments, know that one of the most important combinations is going to be using the right fabric matched to the correct pattern design or silhouette of the garment. If those two don't work together in conjunction with your shape or how you like to fit, wear clothes on your body, you're not going to end up with a really successful result. Like when you look at this skirt, mind you, it has pockets. It's like genius. All right, the construction is beautiful, impeccable finish. It has a smooth waistband along the front, but then it's elasticated on the back so you can fit it over your body and it kind of cinches in a little bit more. But remember, it's designed to sit an inch and a half below your waist, which for me is already a wider measurement because that's getting more to my hip measurement um, down there. So I cut out the size 16, you know, straight through and through and made it and it was still too big. So I had to cut out um, some of the elastic here and cinched in more on the back to kind of not have it fit so loosely on me. So what happens is you get more gathers on the back and when you're working with a thicker fabric, a medium weight woven, it just is too many gathers for what I like to wear on my body, right? But I mean the finish, the construction, the instructions are impeccable. Liesl did a fabulous job with this pattern and I do think it's beginner friendly, but you do end up with a really professional finished garment. It looks as good on the ins uh, in the inside as it does on the outside. The hem is great. It just is a great pattern and a great skirt. But for my body, my hips are way too wide for a medium weight woven fabric. It just, I look super duper wide and it just kind of tents out like that because it is a medium weight fabric. So then I tried it by sizing down. So remember this one I cut at a size 16. The next one I cut at the size large, which is 12 to 14. And I was still actually able to cut out a couple of inches from the elastic. So even though my measurements put me at the largest size, because I used a drapier fabric, this is a rayon chalet print here, super lightweight, breezy, airy. You see how it just falls a lot smoother than the medium weight chambray does, right? Same pattern, smooth waistband on the front, elasticated on the back, okay? Still has the pockets with a nice lightweight fabric. I use the same fabric for everything, but you could do like a little pop of fabric. It would just show kind of in the opening part of the pocket here if you use a contrasting print. That would be another option to use up scraps. And you can see how swingy and drapey it is. And I'll put some pictures in here so you can see how this actually looks on my body, okay? I love it. It worked out great, but for me, I know, I need to use a drapier fabric so that instead of going so kind of stiff and A-line looking over my wider hips, it kind of drapes and flows and just kind of skims my silhouette, which you can see, I mean, they're two totally different garments, but I cut the same pattern. One was size, size smaller. So even if you are on the larger end, you know, like at the end of the size chart here, give it a try because since I was able to size down quite a bit, I think you can still go higher than what the measurements call for here and still have some successful results with the pattern. Now, I said earlier that this is out of print. We do have a couple left. I think we have maybe a dozen patterns left in my online shop. And once we sell out of those, that's it. But if you think that this is something that you want to try, I'll include a link below. You can always head over to my shop. It's just craftygemini.com is my website and then slash shop. Or you can just go to the website and click on the link for shop and you'll see the pattern right there, okay? So again, love, love, love in a rayon chalet. Super easy to put together. Follow the illustrations. Take your time if you are a beginner. And hello, a skirt that has pockets, like it's totally a win. So that was one of the projects that I worked on, but I thought it was important to note the difference in the garment. You see how much stiffer this one is because it's a medium weight fabric and this is a lightweight. So definitely think about the fabric, look in your closet and see what types of garments you like to wear. There's no sense really in making clothes that you're not going to feel comfortable wearing for your body type or for your style of dressing. Next ones I have been working on, well, I'll talk a little bit about this. I recently went to a sewing camp up in upstate New York and on one of the nights they had like a little maker fair. So we had some gurus, right, experts in different crafts uh, that you could sign up for little classes. So I had always been wanting to knit, but it is so slow um, that I was like, it's too slow for me. I'd rather crochet. So I went to the Little Maker Fair workshop and um, Allison Dykhausen, who owns uh, Knit One in Chicago, which is a, a yarn and knitting shop, she was teaching the little beginner knitting thing. So we sat there, a couple of us, and we kind of got the hang of it. And so I told myself, everybody was wearing, a lot of those girls knit, so a lot of them were wearing these gorgeous sweaters, of course, that take like 300 hours to knit. 
And so I was like, okay, my goal is to make a pair of socks and one sweater someday before I die. So I was like, I'm going to start somewhere. So we started knitting and I learned how to knit and purl and I kind of got the hang of it. So when I got back from that trip, I was like, you know, I miss crocheting a little bit. Let me try to see if I can fit it into my schedule. And so that's what I find that really works for me when I get away from a specific craft or something and I want to get back into it. I try to jump back into it with smaller, kind of taking smaller bites and little chunks, just fitting it in when I can here or there. So I did that with crochet and I've been practicing with knitting, making some swatches. And so I wanted to make myself just a cowl, like a scrappy cowl. Now that the weather's starting to cool off a little bit here in Florida, not as much as some of y'all up there nor up north, you're probably getting snow already, but I just, uh, I had a couple different balls. They're not all the same colorway. And I was just like, I'm not going to worry too much about the yarn. I just kind of want to get back into the habit. So I'm making this little crocheted cowl. I should have done it in the round, but I just found like a little free pattern online and started putting it together. So it'll just be seamed. I'm going to keep going to finish this ball and then it'll just be a nice little drapey cow. And of course, there's a ton of different colorways in here. So, but it looks cool. And it's just another way for me to get back into it uh, without tackling a super complex project that I'm going to want to put down after I do a couple of rows. <laughs> so that's what I've been working on with the crochet and uh, trying my hand at knitting. I'm still trying to find a cool knitting pattern. Those of you that knit, let me know if you have kind of a simple and free pattern that I can just try, you know, just, just to start off with maybe a one skein pattern for knitting. Maybe a little cowl would be cool to try. I found a bunch, but I haven't really looked through the patterns yet to see exactly the instructions. I can knit and I can purl. So if you have a recommendation of a go-to beginner friendly knitting project, let me know in the comments below because I love to check it out. Next, I've been working, again, more garments, on these bomber jackets. This is one that I'm making for my daughter, Allie. She picked out the fabrics. I was joking on Instagram saying that like we're in competition to see who likes the brighter fabrics because she, she's like me. She loves the funky bright colors. But this is the one I'm working on for her. And because we live in Florida, I'm not really going to line this one. But I will be working on some other samples of lining them. But look how cool. Black and white striped. Welt pockets. I'm super excited to finish this. I just have to really put on uh, the zipper and the neckband, or the collar on this one. The zipper and the collar. So I'm excited for that. We did that same kind of print in the back. And then I'll show you the one that I'm working on for me. And let me know if this is something that you think you might want to sign up for, like a class, if this is a type of garment. I think it's a great staple to just throw on, even in the fall and winter of warmer climates, but maybe even in the spring for those of you that uh, live in cooler climates. Or you can line it with something really kind of fluffy and chunky. I know some people have lined it with like minky or fleece. That would be super cool. And it would definitely be a, a warmer project, you know, a warmer garment to wear. But how cool are these quilted sleeves? This is a quilted knit that I got. Amazing. And it's just this black uh, floral. I used Liverpool for the main fabric, which is like a double weight and it has kind of a crepe finish. So it's a, a little bit more textured, which I like. And then I used the same black and white striped fabric for the waistband that I did for Allie's jacket. I'm going to do the same thing, the same black and white for the, for the cuffs. The welt pockets, I made them with the same quilted uh, knit that I used for the sleeves. Super cute finish. And again, the zipper and a couple finishing touches on this. So if you want to see the finished garment, let me know in the comments below. And let me know if this is something that you might want to learn how to do. I'm trying them out for us, but I thought, you know what, this would be super cool because it's not such a fitted garment. So I think outerwear is a great place to start for beginners too who want to jump into garment sewing because you don't have to do that many adjustments and fit stuff, you know, since it's just going to go over uh, the lower layers of your clothes. So that's the other thing that I'm working on. And I think that's it for now from what I've been working on. I have a couple of other projects in the works. And so definitely, if you like this kind of vlog style video, let me know in the comments and I will plan to do another one for next week because I've definitely been busy cranking out a bunch of projects, uh, working on some different things that are coming up. I know those of you that are quilters out there have been emailing me and messaging me, asking me if I'm going to be doing more quilting stuff and I will be. So definitely make sure you click the subscribe button if you like what you see and if you want to get more information on what else is coming up as far as new video tutorials on my YouTube channel and as well as my different club and online course projects. All right, so that is it for this video. Remember, I'll include any pertinent links in the description box below for you where you can find that everyday skirt pattern that we carry in the online shop. Let me know in the comments also if you have a beginner knitting uh, pattern or project recommendation for me to try out. 
And if you want to see any of these garment sewing projects, tutorials, if you want to find out about my upcoming clubs, or if you want to find out about the bag club that I shared a couple projects with you here, all that stuff is going to be in the description box below. Now, if you enjoyed what you saw here, go ahead and hit this video with a thumbs up, share it with your friends across the different social media sites, head on over to Instagram and follow me there, and I will see you in the next video.